Hi friends, now let us take up the third concept in our uh, PFD, Python Feel Good Web Series. This is understanding input, process and output, simply IPO. Actually, you take any program of any language, as C or C++, Java or Python, any language. If you classify all the activities, they can be classified into three types of activities only. Input, process and output. And according to our model, first let us understand this IPO from real life. Thereafter, programming example I explain. Here, any system you take, it performs three activities, input, process and output. Just for example, this is a floor mill, your neighboring floor mill is this. This is input section. There is a slot here. In this slot, what you give? You give grains like rice or wheat, you give, you power from here. Then inside what happened? Process is done. A grinder is there, it grinds. Then it is what you call process. Anything it is called as a process. Thereafter, at the end, what you get? You are getting floor. Okay, now here input, process, output. In this manner, suppose uh, in your home storage uh, water heater is there. The input is cold water. Inside process, heating process is done. And what you get? You get hot water. In this way, any system you take, it takes some input and process it and delivers the output. And uh, one great example, a natural example, you take your brain, brain, it is a processing machine, and uh, it takes input. Suppose, just a simple example I give you. What is the example? On August 1st, Sunday, and September 1st, which date? This is our question. Then, you feed it to your brain. You ask every second, you ask some questions, your brain process and gives the result. Just hereafter, you think in that angle. Now, you pose a question to your brain. August 1st is uh, Sunday. What is the day on September 1st? Then, your brain takes a logic. What is logic? Depending on your common sense, not intelligence. If you have common sense, then your brain takes a uh, this thing. Or otherwise, who do not have common sense and all that, who are very lazy, they don't want to give exercise to brain, they refer the phone or calendar. But who wants to give exercise to the brain, they apply a logic and find out. Okay, August 1st, Sunday. Again, 8th, Sunday. 15th, Sunday. 22nd, Sunday. 7, 7 days, uh, 29th, Sunday. Then, 30th, Monday. 31st, Tuesday, September 1st, Wednesday. This is the way. One thing I am telling you, if you want to evolve as a programmer, always you give exercise. It is not like a physical exercise. Physical exercise means you have to go to ground or you have to go to gym. But mental exercise while traveling, while sleeping, any time you can give exercise. So this type of thing comes and all that, you find out a logic. You try to find out, then you get it. Then... That is the brain. Otherwise, your brain will become lazy. For everything, for any, this thing comes and immediately suggest. I don't do that. You find a calculator. You find a calendar. That is a, such type of people, you know, they never evolve. The other fields, they may do anything. But only in a programming field, always they have to give exercise to the brain. Every time you get exercise, don't keep your brain lazy. If you keep your brain lazy and all that, actually, you cannot develop any innovative things or great things. Routinely you live and die. Okay. This is, here what are the four activities? Input, process and output. In programs also, the same thing. Actually, uh, in the first concept, I showed you uh, the, the program, mark report program. It is 40 plus lines of program. If you analyze that, because you do not know code, that's why you cannot analyze that, then you can find it in uh, three sections. 
the first section is input section input section actually in that already i think you can recall uh, the mock report in that nine data items are there those are input input means you know uh, the computer does not know what are they name of the student roll number of the student class number of the student three subject names marks in three subject mark percentage in three subjects these are the nine data items nine numbers from keyboard keyboard we have to read now already in the previous concept I did. for that one function is there what is the function input function just input function use and one syntax is there simply you know that then all the nine data items you can read from the keyboard not nine even 100 data items you can enter then the data is read whatever you type on the keyboard it is read and it is stored in the computer memory in the computer memory memory containers are those those are called variables in the next concept i explain there it is stored thereafter what is the process as far as the mock report is concerned because i am discussing only known domains already i showed you mock report that's why i am talking about here nine only but in uh, output mock report how many are there 11 numbers are there but how many entered only nine numbers you know entered remaining two what about remaining two numbers what are they one is total marks second one is average marks average marks means average mark percentage how you get it you don't enter how you get it for one formula i write what is the formula m1 plus m2 plus m3 three papers are there marks percentage in three papers you give the sum of you sum up and the sum of the three is stored in total marks thereafter how you can calculate average marks total marks by number of papers then average marks understand what is this this is the process already i told you na august 1st is sunday what is the day on september 1st your brain is processing here total mark your program is processing because of that what happened nine data items you have given your program calculated 11 data uh, two data items totally 11 data items how many require for output you require totally 11 then this is called processing section next one output section output section means 11 items are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 11 okay if i give it are you happy actually you are expecting 11 data items from your mock report now i put all the items your name your class number your role number your subject names and all that i put it like this will you be happy with that your, this is your result but you are not happy why it is not formatted it is not formatted how you are expecting you are expecting it like this in this format am i right this is the same thing whatever contents are there there here these are represented but this is this is a result this is formatted output actually in your uh, math when you are doing mathematics and all that you get results like this you will be happy with that but as far as programming concerned this is not enough this is correct but this is not enough it should be organized like this one simple example i give you in your uh, dinner you are taking let us say you are taking half a dozen items half a dozen items ultimately you eat they go into the stomach if i dump half a dozen items at a time as a as a heap will you be happy ultimately you are eating half a dozen items but if i dump them in your plate will you eat why you don't eat ultimately you are eating all them because it is not formatted it is not properly served for everything set in a quantity set in order set a timing is there so always you remember in programming you should format your result that is output formation this is ultimately already i showed you mock report output output is this so every program you take in that 40 lines are there 40 lines around 15 lines 15 uh, lines are input statements and uh, two lines are processing statements and the rest of the lines are output statements so in every program whatever statement you write that uh, belongs to one of these one of the three blocks, the point you have to understand.